Hi there guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at our positioning um, practical number 3 and this will be for our CAD feature. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, we're into the program here. Now, in today's video, in the practical, we're going to be looking at creating this type of shape or layout using um, a shape of your choosing. Now, after this, I'm also going to show you a nice little quick hack for, uh, well, not a hack, but like a speed up of something else. But uh, I don't want to spoil it just yet. Okay, it's maybe not that exciting, but um, just so you can get an idea of the difference with speed of another workflow. But yeah, so what I'm going to, have you do is create this type of shape so you can see we've got three by three and um, yeah, basically a border so just pause here give it a try remember you have to use the matrix positioning should i say that's part of the requirements and then uh, see if you can achieve this and then once you're done just unpause and then you can carry on okay I'm not sure if you've tried it, but let me quickly run through my process. So I'm going to remove that. I'm going to add a little cube. I'm going to leave uh, at the lower left for the actual origin. Then I'm going to go click on the matrix, click on the background. And now we want to set these settings. So X and Y, I'm going to leave zero. Then um, AX, I'm going to make 200 and AY 200. So we've got a nice 100 spacing between our shapes. Then the numbers, I'm going to go 3 on the X and 3 on the Y. So 3X, 3 3Y, 3 say OK. And we have our shapes here. Now what I simply have to do is just select the middle one, hit delete, and then we have our nice border. Now the reason why I want to show you this method is because it can speed up a lot of things. So now, I don't know if you can remember the first tutorial we did where we used the cube and then um, we at the single positioning and we added one and then the side top you know how long that took it so it's a quite a process but now what you can do is if you use the matrix so let's say we do the same thing leave all of this i'm going to go 200 spacing 200 spacing go again three three add it now all i do is select these outside ones hit delete and there we go Oops. we are done so you can imagine how much time this saves you in production if you use your tools right. Like I mentioned though earlier that the single positioning, even though um, it only places one, you must never be underestimated because um, you're always going to be using it. But if you understand your end result, you can use some of these other tools to get there way quicker. So use a fraction of the time and then get the same result. But yeah, otherwise that is it on the practical for the matrix positioning very handy tool if you're doing bulk um, layouts it's going to save you a lot of time but yeah otherwise if before we head on if we go here to software training.co.za you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover and you can also isolate your search on the top right if you do not however see the training videos you're looking for just simply go yeah request the training video fill in the mini form and then we'll do our best to try and make that for you but otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.